Hey everyone, welcome back to another first look. This one is Y2K. Uh, it is called a postmodern RPG. Um, I did when I received the um, the what's the word I'm looking for uh, the review code for it. I was downloading it and I noticed that it was uh, it said that it has violence and stuff. So if you know you got kids in the room, don't let them watch this video because I don't know what this game is like. Um, I, somebody had actually written or, or, uh, asked about this on my Run Jump Stomp podcast, and I hadn't had a chance to play it before I got back to him. I guess there's some kind of controversy about the way that you make your name that I didn't really understand, but let's, um, oh man, the way this is moving around, I, for a second there, I almost thought it was using, like, the gyros in my, in my pro controller. Uh, the way it's moving like like I was being shaky or something, but it's just it's just normal. All right, press any button. I'm just looking at the the weirdness in the background. That's cool. All right, press any button. We're gonna go new. Oh, I like I like the little Final Fantasy touches there. Uh, new game. All right, hello there. Hello, welcome to the wonderful wonderful world of Y2K. That said, Y2K, in case you were confused by the font choice and the logo. The developers thought it would be a cool idea to make two a Roman numeral for some reason. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like the, like, 80s background thing going on here. Grab your tinfoil hat and prepare your eyes as they are about to be opened wider than you could have ever thought possible. This is going to be a wild ride. I'm going to ask you a few questions if that's alright. Would you please pick a favorite color theme? Oh, okay. I uh, part of me wants to go with like traditional blue of uh, Final Fantasy, but I think I'm gonna change things up. I'm gonna go with this uh, weird green brown combination. Great choice, thanks, bird. What is the name your parents gave you? Don't lie now. This is super serious. Was the name my parents gave me? Well. My parents, whoops, are uh, weird hippies, so they called me RJS. I don't like that the little cursor is, like, to the right. That's very confusing. All right. RJS? Is this name okay? Sure is. I kind of like the music. Beautiful name. Well, I wish I had a cool name like that. Your parents must have been super hip cats to come up with a name like that. My parents named me Marlene. Hello, Marlene. I'm not Marlene. I'm Charlene. Hello, Charlene. I'm not Charlene. I'm Marlene. Ten cool points if you know what that's from. Uh, can you believe that? Yuck. Anyway, back to the questionnaire. Which of these do you identify with? Uh, I'm a male. Is this correct? Yeah. Great. A few more questions and we'll be on our way. First things first. These are questions about real people in your real life. So you do your best to answer truthfully as it will hurt my feelings if you lie to me. And I've had enough of that, but you already know about that, don't you? So name real people, be honest, and give the thoughtful responses. First question, what is the name of the coolest girl you know? Well, I'm not going to give real people names on here because, you know, that's secret. So, we'll say Zelda. Zelda's pretty cool. Is this name okay? You betcha. Oh, like that one game character. That's right. Actually, it's, you know, I named her after Zelda Williams. Uh, what about a friend who is smarter than you, but wouldn't ever draw attention to the fact, to that fact? Um, oh, this is good. We'll, we'll say Bravd, and uh, if he watches this, then he'll know. He'll know what's up. B R A. Where's the V? I hate alphabetical. V. D. All right, Bravd. Is this name okay? Yeah. Name a friend who is the polar opposite of you. The polar opposite of me. Well, I am introverted, and I don't like 
uh, sports ball, so I will say Jackie Chan. J-A-C-K-Y space Chan. Oh my god, this is like... Sorry, I should have just made up things. Jackie Chan, is this name okay? You betcha. What about the nerdiest guy you know who would go on and on about stupid things like video games, anime, comic books, and crap like that? Uh, Bill. That guy. <laughs> you cannot deal with that guy. Alright, confirm. Yes. Oh my god, this is going on for so long. Name a friend who's always there to talk to even when you're feeling down about yourself. The kind who understands essential quandaries. The kind who knows what it's like to face crippling student debt. Knows what it's like... Oh my god. Um, we'll say uh, Luigi. Luigi's always there to talk to. Luigi. Hopefully this is done. Oh, like that one game character. <laughs> Lastly, what is your favorite piece of technology? Something you feel a uh, connection to? My favorite piece of technology would probably be my Nintendo Switch. Actually, it's probably my phone, but we'll, we'll move on. Uh, where's the H button? There we go. Yeah, that name's okay. I feel like I know so much about you. you. I could tell we're going to get along famously. Well, thanks, Marlene. And don't pretend I didn't ask you any of this. Play along now. April 4th, 1999. I had just... Wait, April 4th? Ooh, I was about a month from getting out of the army. I got out of the army on, like, May 1st. Maybe it was May 2nd, I can't remember. Okay, we've got a long loading screen. So, um, that was really long, and, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put down below how to, like, like the timestamp to skip the name input stuff if you don't... Wow, did you see those frames? It's very framey just then. Frankton. I love that. The, like that logo is so 80s. Although this is supposed to be 99, so I'm not sure why. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. I just graduated. I would like them to duck the music when this guy's talking. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. I had no idea what adult life held for me, but I was optimistic. The, oh my god, the frame rate is just terrible. I'm not sure if that's, if they're doing that to make it... Like, if that's a conscious choice, but it's very jarring to look at. What will you do? I will save. Otherwise, I'd have to put in all those damn names again. Would you like to save your data? Yes. Commencing save. Alright, so we saved. Let's go talk to this guy. With shaved the middle of his head, it looks like. Going to the movies with my son really got a good feeling about this one. Oh, come on. I was trying to talk to the other person. Dad's really excited for this movie. It's just nice spending time together. Well, that's nice. Isn't that special? Uh, I'm just going to walk in random houses. You know, that's something you did back in the 90s. Oh, okay. You knock. Hungry man. Oh, it's you. No, I'm not disappointed. It's just... I thought you were pizza. Come back if you decide to bring me a slice of deep dish pizza. Look at that, we got our first quest. Is there a... 
a quest tracking thing. All right, the hint is head home. It's the one with the welcome home sign out front. Oh my God, that is a giant sign. I can't believe that my neighbors aren't angry at me for having this ridiculous sign. Uh, look at this, a zine. Matt Hawkins. Hey man, you got a second? So, guessing by your physical appearance, I think it's safe to say that you're a fan of video games. Right? Yeah, I am. For five years, I've written about video games and game culture, including the art, music, film, and fashion inspired by video games and the people who play them. You know, uh, you would think that they would have named this person Bill because they asked me for someone who would talk about video games all the time, and I said Bill. Mostly, I write about t-shirts and jeans, but that's okay. What? Anyway, a point of frustration I've encountered in my trials is a writer always has been the medium that I used to publish. The print. This used to rock, but now, thanks to the damn internet, it's starting to be too expensive to just my, justify my own. Information is so easy to track down and share. Everyone can be a publisher on the internet. Everyone can have a voice. Or a podcast, like Run Jump Stomp or Nintendo Switchcraft. Hashtag sellout. Everyone can have a voice, which is great, but online content is hardly permanent. <laughs> it's ultimately just ones and zeros. Here one day and gone the next. 99 is just a different beast from 98. The internet is ruining print and everyone can beat me to anything before I can get it out. This is why I want to create something truly special. Is it a shortcut button to the end of this conversation? Something that isn't about being ahead of the times, but capturing them. Actually, this the, the conversation's kind of interesting, but I feel like it's eating into the time, and I just realized I'm cutting off some of the text. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I feel like it's using up time. Something that will be a historical document in the years to come that really proves how great the 90s were for gaming, and what's a better way to do that than in a physical medium? So I'm asking you, gamer to gamer, would you please, please, please donate some money to me? With your hard-earned dollars and cents, you can help kickstart 90s guys. That's the name of my zine. And get it into stores for, for the hands of geeks like yourself. So what do you say, man? Ah, uh, sure, why the hell not? It's not real money. Holy crap, that's great. How much do you want to donate? Donate a dollar and you'll get a sticker. Five and you'll get the magazine. 10 and you'll get a producer credit in the back of the book. Remember, each donation, regardless of its size, comes with a sizable portion of my soul and the right to hold this over my head forever in case I don't ever finish it. With just a small donation of any size, you can be the reason I'll lose sleep for the next six months. So, how much are you going to give? We'll do $10. I don't have enough cash to donate that much. <laughs> oh man and good luck with your zine can I swing on the thing no I like the art style but I hate the animation it's so choppy looking and it's it's almost hard to look at I wish the animation was smoother oh look I can use a phone to, to save I can oh there's a letter from mom Alex dear son of mine See if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. Boy, she's awfully passive aggressive, that uh that mom. Not even home five minutes and she's already barking orders at me. It sounds like they're in a cave or something. This is really weird. Uh okay, let's let's look around the house. What can I find? My mom has read all these books. Oh, good for her. Look at that VHS tape up on the th on the shelf. Why didn't they have DVDs? They should have had DVDs. I'm going to save. Yeah, 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 that's great. Okay, so let me go to Hint. Head east into town to the grocery shop for mom. Did she get... Did I have the list? Did 
Did she say it was on the fridge or something? Let me look. No, I don't see anything on the on the fridge. The table is set for six. It's been a while since we've eaten as a family. Is that something you guys do? We we sit down and eat together every night. Two pieces of bread lie mysteriously untoasted in the toaster. Very mysterious. Clearly, they don't have cats. Because if I left my bread in a toaster, that's not a euphemism. Uh, uh oh. Then Marvy would have a field day. All right, what's up? Okay. What? He said the needle on the record has dropped. Oh, there's a shiny thing in the background. I wonder if that shiny thing was there before and I just didn't notice it. That phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. He can't hear the music because he's in a cave. The music's outside the cave. Seriously, they must have recorded this in a cave. Alex no noticed something sticking out of a book. Alex found a collectible pog. Ah, pogs. I remember them, though I never collected them. See, I feel like this has uh, is going to have a lot of um, good references to things uh, in the 90s. But I wasn't a kid in the 90s. I was, you know, I was already had joined and, and uh, completed my my tour in the army. Uh, was it East? I don't remember. East. It is East. Oh, okay, that was weird. I like the music. Almost has like a, a ska quality to it, which was huge in the 90s. I'm just going to run down the middle of the road. There's a... Oh, look, it's my cat. Town, I came to a, junction. a junction in a cave. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home. I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. Listen, pal, you're supposed to be going and getting groceries for your mother. She's your mother. It was dark, but somehow attractive. I made a mental note to explore it later, and took a step towards town when I heard a meow near my feet. I picture what it would be like to be the owner, and I imagine describing it to a friend. Lonely? Nah, I don't get too lonely. Besides my mom, there's only a cat. An old cat, but a good friend to talk to. My fictional friend would reply, You talk things over, do you? I nod. Uh huh. Been together a long time so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Of course, I didn't know this cat. Before. Now I lost it. The music has lost its ska quality. It sounds more like elevator music now. Never met. It was a funny looking cat with a funny resting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. I leaned down to pet him, without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly he liked me. That was a good sign. He's gonna eat the bread in your toaster, dude. Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. Holy cow, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, give that back to me! Oh no, not the grocery list. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go ahead and go to config real quick. And I'm going to lower the music volume quite a bit because I can't quite hear the voice over the music. And I want to be able to hear the voice over the music. All right, I want to get at least get to some combat in our 19 minutes in uh, thing here. <laughs> What the hell? He stole my grandma or my mother's grocery list and he took it to the top of this building. Oh, this okay, this this is really weird. Am I holding a record? Uh-oh. Here we go. If this is combat, the loading time is way too long for combat. Like this, like that should be instantaneously loaded. 
If it's just the next... Yeah, oh my god. This somehow looks worse. Okay. I could get with the... the like, what I was seeing before, but this is not... Like, the, the graphics in the background, I'm not a fan of. Alright, so let's see what my skills are. I, I have no skills. You would think somebody who is a recent college graduate would have some skills. Alright, let's attack... The smile. Alex attack smile level one. Press A on the colored section, yellow, one, hit red, spin again. Okay. Oh, come on, I was reading that. Alright, so I want to hit the yellow. Oh my god, it's got fangs. Oh. Okay, so this is... This is like Mario. Um, let's see. Bam. Bam. Oh. Uh, this is like uh, Mario RPG games. I like that, that I found 32 cents. Like it's actual money. It's not a dollar. It's like it's going to be around, uh, not nice round numbers. That's cool. Alright. So, uh, loading into combat takes way too long. This really feels cheap and chintzy, but there's something oddly charming about it. It's not great, though. Like, if you were to say, hey, Bill, what RPG would you recommend? And keep in mind, I've been playing this game for about 21 minutes, so I'd have to give it more time before uh, before I said something. Uh, but I would I don't know that I would recommend this right off the beginning, you know. Whereas there's other games where I've played the beginning, I'm like, wow, that's got a cool hook. This is inc this is incredibly unique, though. I will say that. What'll I do? I will save. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna save. Um. Well, that was weird. Get that grocery list. See, I am strangely compelled to move forward and find out what the hell is going on in this game because it's really bananas. All right, let's let's uh, take a sip of water from the the water fountain for heals. I don't know about you guys, but I always glow when I take a sip out of a regular water fountain. I stepped into the elevator, expecting to find the cat. I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. I sighed as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. The elevator came to a smooth but unexpected stop. I cringed with anxiety as the lights flickered. Please don't die. Please don't die. I pleaded with the mechanical gods to keep the power on. My prayers weren't answered. Damn it! The power's out. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box. Man, he if he just had, you know, if he just took out his cell phone... He could use that as a flashlight. Oh, wait. 1999. Alright, let's, uh, we'll do one more round of combat, and, uh, and, uh, I think that'll be it for, for this, uh, first look at Y2K. I like this song. This song's interesting. Kind of like a rock, like, theme to it. Uh, it's a rat and a smile. Alright, so I'm going to... No skills still. Okay. Attack. Uh, let's see, what do you guys think? Rat or smile? Well, I can't hear you, so I'm going to pick rat. And let's see if I can hit this again. The needle on the record has dropped. Oh my god, I'm terrible at that. And you are dead, my friend, Mr. Rat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bam.
Here we go. I can get I can get the yellow. Bam. Got it. Bam. Oh, how did I miss it? I feel like I got it. I feel like I got robbed there. Victory was mine that day. The party earned 40 AXP. Alex earned an additional plus 2 AXP. Found $5.50. If that's all I got to do is go punch a couple of rats with a record and I have 5 bucks, well, that seems like a good deal. Especially back in the 90s. Giant door is locked shut. If only you had a key to open it. Can I can I use uh, can I check this garbage can for a key? There's seven dollars and twenty one cents in the garbage. Oh my god! I'm gonna be rich by the time I'm done with this. Let's look for garbage cans. Okay, that's not creepy at all. I think that I probably need. Can I push these boxes? Oh, oh, look at that. It's following me with its eyes. It's undressing me with its eyes. Wait a second. I can't seem to interact with these at all. Nope. All right. Let's leave this room. Maybe. Did you guys just see the cat? No, that was me. Okay. Oh my god, the transitions between scenes. Ooh, how much money is going to be in here? Inside the trash can. Five bucks. People are just throwing money away left and right. Well, this has been a first look at um, Y2K for the Nintendo Switch. A really, really weird RPG style game. My first thoughts are that it's it's pretty janky. Like, it's, there's some things about it that are just poorly made. Um, the music is way too loud to hear the dialogue over, but thankfully the developer gave us the option to turn that down if we wanted to. Um, the transitions from scene to scene get really weird, like, like it's flashing two scenes at once and there's no gradual change. It seems like a very buggy game. I think that the combat shows like it might have some promise, but this isn't a game that I would recommend. Of course, I've only played about 30 minutes of it. This is not a game that I would recommend to people, but I would recommend that people watch the video or, or just look at it and check it out and then make a decision on their own. Very odd. Uh, game to come to the Nintendo Switch. What do you guys think? Is this something you're interested in at all? Let me know right down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.